Hey everybody, KC here. So you know, internet outrage can happen for lots of reasons. And last week the reason it happened was because Klondike announced, this is apparently a big deal, that they were no longer gonna be making their Choco Taco uh, vanilla ice cream uh, desserts. And, uh, and I have to be honest with you, the, the Choco Taco, uh, it, I don't even know if I ever had one. I don't think so. Um, it sort of was not in my sphere of interest when it comes to uh, when it comes to ice cream. And I love ice cream probably because it has peanuts in it. And I'm not a peanut guy. I like peanut butter, but I don't like peanuts in other sorts of things. Um, now you know it, it, they announced it, and apparently the you know the internet went wild, and uh, it was suddenly it started to look like Klondike's new Coke thing. They were getting rid of something, and they're going to have to bring it back at some point, and they are now saying somewhat cryptically that they're discussing next steps. You know, if this is a way you wanna find out whether or not people really love the thing that you make, well, it's one way to do it. Uh, I'm not sure it's the best way to do it. But it seems to me one of the most interesting things about this is that suddenly on the internet, there's all sorts of recipes cropping up uh, for Choco Tacos, if you wanna make them yourself. I also find it interesting that a lot of the recipes that I saw didn't have peanuts in them. And uh, so I might actually be willing to try something like that. But it seems to me this is actually a kind of an opportunity for retailers, right? If you see the moment, right, there's a story out there about how people are upset that there's no more Choco Tacos. I think retailers sort of sit down and say, hey, how do we make them ourselves? How do we sell them in our stores and in, in our bakeries or wherever it happens to be? Let's do our own private label Choco Tacos that we can make in store. Um, and then promote them. Say, hey, listen, we've got, not only do we have them, we have them and we make them better. Turn them into uh, a differential advantage. Use the moment, generate a little, uh, a little uh, promotional electricity, a little mojo, if you will. This is the way that I think the retailers can make themselves interesting. Get people to come in. It gives you something to talk about. Maybe a local newspaper or website will do a story about it. Maybe they'll taste test it compared to the original if they can actually find any of the originals out there. These are the moments you got to grab. And you can't sit around and talk about it for a couple of weeks. You can't sit around. You can't uh, focus group it. You can't committee it. You just got to try it. See what happens. See if you can generate just a little bit of interest that makes you different and and maybe better than the, the retailer across the street or across town. Uh, listen, I, I, me, I'm a cannoli guy. And to me, a cannoli is sort of like a, a, an Italian taco, although better. That's from my point of view uh, when it comes to desserts. But if I walked into a store and they were selling, uh, they were trying to sell their own private label Choco Tacos at this point, as long as they didn't have peanuts, I'd try them. Um, what the hell, you know? I, I, again, these are the things you got to do to just yeah, generate a little interest, generally generate a little excitement, maybe even generate a few sales. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.